Namaste, Namaskaram, good morning. First of all, thank you so much for coming here. It's an absolute honor to be here. For me, when I landed in Mumbai just a few days ago, and when I took the first breath of air here, it just, everything felt right. And I felt, this is where I belong, my soul belongs here. I started my life journey as a little girl in my third country, my motherland, that's India. So from here, as a little girl, I set out to the world to explore, to learn, to gain knowledge. And here I am right now, standing in front of you, with gaining the knowledge, training, skills, evidence-based medicine, and yet bringing not only that, but bringing the true essence of what I believe, what I practice, and what I want to deliver to the world is the science of Indian potent medicine with this Ayurveda. So I want to bring the combination of Ayurvedic practices, Ayurvedic rituals in the skin line along with strongly supported medical evidence. So there, that's, that's the reason I'm here. As a businesswoman, as an entrepreneur, I have to say this. It feels, coming here to India, that everything the government has been, um, has been supporting, celebrating new businesses, celebrating entrepreneurs celebrating um, the journey of uh, people who started with just really only a dream and wanting to make a bit. There is no better place in the world, in the planet, that such dreams can come as reality. And that is part, that's the power of India. This is the powerhouse. And I really want to thank, I'm ever so grateful to the government of India to create such amazing opportunities and platform and welcome businesses like us, Australian businesses like us, to be here, to try here, and to be a small part of the big dream. Thank you, Narendra Modi ji, for the amazing work and the policies and the constant effort in supporting businesses and new business ventures. I want to extend my deepest gratitude for the outstanding support and encouragement that our Honorable Minister Vemurli Sir has provided to us, our team, and gave us the confidence in believing in India, in believing India as Australia's friend. And that really has grown for me from strength to strength. So without the support of great leaders and great role models like Sri Murli Sir and his amazing team from the government, I don't think such an event would be even be possible for me because I would be quite nervous about the outcomes because it is, it is my motherland but I feel away. I've been in Australia, did my training there to come back here and to understand, to realize there is still, there is, there is still a belief of um, having, so supporting the new business is a great feeling. I'm standing here not just as a person of Indian origin, I'm here as a proud Australian and a proud Queenstown. I have now called Queensland my new home, my homeland. If, if it wasn't Australia as a country with the policies and practices, as well as the support and encouragement from Queensland, state of Queensland, the government, 
someone like me, a multicultural origin, Indian origin person, wouldn't be here standing right in front of you and be able to talk about not just a business, but also growing a brand from, from zero. So it is the strength and the confidence the government and Australia have seen my journey as a GP, as a doctor, going into business owner and in my entrepreneurial journey and being supportive and encouraging throughout. This is the type of support and encouragement that women-led businesses get in Australia. Thank you so much and what a great example that I feel this will lead for more businesses to come here to be a part of the Indian dream, to be a part of the growth of India. And I, I am very confident people will be watching this story. Through you, people will be watching what we are able to do. As women in business, as multicultural Australian women in business, to be able to come back here and deliver. Thank you so much. And before I finish, I really want to say one last thing. The Trade and Investment Queensland team has been so supportive. Thank you so much for everything that you have been. Thank you, Dr. Tanya, for the wonderful words. A big round of applause for Dr. Tanya. One thing, when I came here, there's one song that's playing in my head. That is, Garaja Paradeshi Tere Tesh Gulare. Wow, kya baat hai. Take a round of applause. Now, I would request Dr. Tanya to welcome on the bench for this uh, great invitation to be here today and to celebrate a great Queensland Indian and a great Indian Queenslander, Dr. Tanya. Uh, as Queensland's Treasurer and Minister for Trade and Investment, I am so delighted to be able to support dynamic, passionate and energetic entrepreneurs like Dr. Tanya. And I also wanted to uh, express how honoured we are to have you here today, uh, Minister Moraladale. It's very uh, important for our state and our nation that someone of your status uh, honours us with your presence here today. And we're very grateful that you could be here today. We're also grateful there's some genuine star power here at the other end of the uh, table, at the other end of the platform, and we thank you, Ms. Bugger, for being here with us as well. The relationship between India and Queensland has never been stronger. Although Australia doesn't perform that well on the cricket field, we do perform well when it comes to commerce. And I had the great privilege of attending the one-day cricket match on Friday here in Mumbai when Australia lost again. Um, but today we celebrate great courage, great enthusiasm and great passion. Dr. Tanya has contributed so much to our state. Uh, Dr. Tanya and her husband, Amir, are medical practitioners in our state. Uh, they are leading when it comes to the delivery of general practice on the Gold Coast, one of our great cities. And now Dr. Tanya has taken another step forward, another courageous step to establish a wonderful cosmetics company. And I, I can't speak highly enough of my interactions with Dr. Tanya and her passion and her commitment. She is a very genuine, dedicated businesswoman and is a leader, an acknowledged leader in our community. She's received so many awards uh, from uh, the business community in Queensland because of her genuineness, because of her authenticity, and because of her commitment to growing a business. So today we celebrate the start of something we hope will be very critical. Uh, Dr. Tanya has embedded in her business uh, Ayurvedic principles in her cosmetic brand. And that is such a special and important thing. Those traditional uh, practices will be part of her cosmetic range. So she's uh, marrying together tradition, ancient science with modern science as well. And I think that is a wonderful thing, bringing together again India and Queensland through this cosmetics one. So Dr. Tanya, I'm delighted to be here on behalf of our government uh, and the people of our state uh, to congratulate you and to wish you well on this new endeavour. Uh, we're very proud of what you've been able to achieve. And I wanted to acknowledge finally, in my concluding remarks to people, I wanted to acknowledge the team from Trade and Investment Queensland. Can you come forward, Abana? Abana Badia is our Senior Trade Commissioner and his team here has done so much 
work to support companies like Dr. Dr. Tanya, and we're very grateful for his work. And we will support any Indian company that wants to invest or export to Queensland, just as we will support any Queensland company that wishes to invest and export to India. So I want to acknowledge uh, Avanar and his team for everything they've done here uh, for Dr. Tanya. And I also wanted to acknowledge uh, Dr. Tanya's mother, who's with us today as well. I know how proud uh, Dr. Tanya's mother is of her as well. This is a wonderful day for your family. And uh, my time here in India has reinforced to me the value of family bonds, uh, which are so important in this culture as it is in our culture back in Queensland. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for being here today. And can I ask you to put your hands together for a great Queenslander and a great Indian, Dr. Tanya. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm uh, Let's see, uh, Mr. Cameron Dick, the treasurer of Queensland, Dr. Tanya, Ms. Sally Magad. Friends, good morning and namaskar. I'm delighted to be here in Mumbai today for this event. And let me take this opportunity to welcome Excellency Mr. Cameron Dick to Mumbai, the city of dreams and the key financial center of India. It's a pleasure having you here in India. I'm happy that this event comes immediately after the successful visit of the Prime Minister of Australia to India. I take this opportunity to appreciate Dr. Tanya Udi for taking up this project on the principles of Ayurveda. That's the traditional medicine of India. Ayurveda is closely linked to nature and the environment and finds rich mention in the ancient texts of India. Ayurveda leads to good health and a long life. It's a holistic human science and symbol of the thousands of years of India's traditional knowledge. Ayurveda is for the entire humanity. That's why we believe in Vasudeva Kutupaga. And as you know, this year when India is having the adorning the presidency of the G20, our Prime Minister has given the motto of one world, one family, one future. So the entire humanity is linked together. That's the slogan that India wants to give. And that's the slogan that India has been believing in. That's why I said that Vasudeva Kutumbaka is the motto of India. India is home to Ayurveda and is a treasure trove of herbal plants and it is our green goal. We use this natural wealth in the interest of humanity. The government is continuously encouraging the production and promotion of herbal and medicinal plants. The government under Prime Minister Narendra Modi has set up a national Ayush mission. This mission aims to promote Ayush medical systems, including Ayurveda, through cost-effective means. It's also working to strengthen educational systems and facilitate enforcement of quality control of all forms of medicine, including Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, and homeopathy drugs, and ensuring sustainable availability of raw materials. I am glad to note that the government's policy regarding Ayurveda and other Indian system of medicine is already aligned with the traditional medicine strategy of 2014-23 of the World Health Organization. And now this year, last year, a global center for traditional medicine was inaugurated in India in the neighboring state of Maharashtra, that is Gujarat. And the Director General of uh, World Health Organization, he came personally to inaugurate the uh, Global Center for Traditional Knowledge. So this center will be a repository of information about traditional medicine systems, apart from encouraging more research in traditional medicine. I am confident that the center will validate 
the wider use of Ayurveda in the coming days. I would also like to highlight what Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji said recently on Ayurveda and its growth. He said, and I quote him, there is a growing consciousness, particularly among youth, to integrate Ayurveda with evidence-based medical science. So that's what Dr. Tanya just now mentioned. Researchers and academicians should use the opportunity and put in more energy on this aspect. And I am sure that uh, Dr. Tanya is following on the call given by the Honorable Prime Minister and putting in effort to see that the, the work goes on on evidence-based medical sciences. Ayurveda has to prove to the world and has is, is already proving to the world that is it, it is an evidence-based science. So now the, the in the field of cosmeceuticals, now she has initiated this uh, uh, new entrepreneurship, new venture, and which is uh, the associated with health and wellness industries across the globe. Ayurveda is known for that. So the the cosmeceutical industry, which is being uh, initiated by Dr. Tanya, I am sure that will go a long way in developing the uh, trade and investment between India and Australia. And India and Queensland, we have very good cooperation. During the last uh, year, there has been a, an understanding, an announcement, there will be a summit level annual meetings between the Prime Ministers of India and Australia. And very recently, the, the Honorable Prime Minister, His Excellency Anthony Albanese, had his very successful visit to India. He came over to see the cricket match also. So it was cricket, culture and commerce, as Your Excellency mentioned, because he arrived on the day of Holi. So he arrived on the day of Holi, he had his whole face uh, uh, smeared with colours uh, to welcome him. So I am sure that uh, this, uh, uh, Your Excellency's visit to India from Queensland and Dr. Tanya initiating such a venture, that will definitely uh, be another milestone in increasing, enhancing the trade investment and people-to-people -people connection between India and Australia, especially with India and Queensland. With these words, let me offer my best wishes to Dr. Tanya and also thank Excellency Cameron Dick, the Treasurer of Queensland and other delegates who are here to join this great function. All the best to all of you. Thank you so much for the program. Very good afternoon to all of you. Honorable Ministers on the dais, Dr. Tanya, my very dear press friends, and all the guests who are present here. This is my second decade in the beauty industry. I started my journey as a teenager, as a Miss India. So I'm usually hobnobbing with a lot of uh, people from this industry entrepreneurs, beauticians, actors, models. So you can say, this is my subject. <laughs> and I have seen a huge shift in the second decade of this beauty industry. As an Indian woman, I can say, and you will also agree with me, that initially we would use maybe three or four, and later maybe came the face wash, so maybe five products beauty products every day. Yes, Auntie? All, all the women agree? Somewhere in the teenage, of course, the face wash was there. And then we come get this soap-free whole product line that came in. And now you'll be surprised, and I say this with statistics because I'm usually in so many of these beauty and uh, makeup expos, that our products 
have certainly increased and have crossed 20. Our makeup products, wouldn't you agree it would just possibly be the um, eyeliner, a foundation, not even a foundation, maybe a compact powder and a lipstick. And now we have special cases for makeup. So you will agree that the uh, beauty industry has changed. And Dr. Tanya, you are here at the right time. And of course, as um, everything that has imparted knowledge, we all believe in Ayurveda, We've all grown up seeing our grandmothers use something or recommend something. It's been there for centuries. But which is the right one? What is the right way? Is it tested? Is it certain? You know that we're investing so much of our time, of our research and our money in these products. And if this research, this time, everything is invested by Dr. Tanya, I know that I'm going to Tanya for sure. <laughs> so this is, this is this, these were my two cents as um, somebody who's been a visitor and has been an actor. Um, as a part of my profile also includes being a philanthropist and an entrepreneur. I would like to say that Dr. Tanya, I'm mildly jealous, honestly. I did mention that uh, <laughs> to, to Honorable Minister Cameroon here that uh, I'm mildly jealous of Tanya, that she has like a whole arsenal of an army of, of people backing her out there. You know, there are so many women entrepreneurs, small, medium, that they, they, they're somewhere in their houses just shy and coy and maybe wanting just possibly their family to support them a little bit. And here she comes with this whole army. You know, I, so I think this is not just the right time for the product, Dr. Tanya, this is also the right time for you. And um, thank you so much to uh, Minister Murli Dharan and uh, Minister Cameron for coming here to support women. Thank you. I couldn't be thankful and, and, and I couldn't say this enough, how much especially Indian women need to be picked out of there and say, babe, you've got talent. A woman, dear woman, you have talent out there. You know something that the world needs. I work with so many of them and I know we could use this help. And if men of such stature are offering this help, I think this is an example. I'm sure my press friends will take our message ahead and this will encourage all the women out there in India, all the doctors out there in India to be somebody like Dr. Tanya. Dr. Tanya, we wish you all the very best. May, may this whole room, this whole uh, universe conspire and manifest all, all that you have dreamed for your brand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, now we're going to be coming. Yes. Very good. When I heard that Dr. Tanya is basically from India, and although she is now in Queensland, Australia, and she is very popular there, her base, the root, the formulations, formulations are Ayurvedic based. She has done a lot of research on it, and अब वहां ट्राय टेस्ट करके वो फिर से यहां इंडिया में अपने प्रोडक्ट्स लॉन्च कर रही है तो मुझे लगा ये बहुत ही अच्छा मौका है डॉक्टर तानिया के लिए और ऐसे प्रोडक्ट्स इंडिया में लॉन्च होने के लिए क्योंकि हम यहां पे इंडिया में बहुत ज्यादा इन्वेस्टमेंट कर रहे हैं किसी ना किसी ब्रांड पे किसी ना किसी मेकअप या स्किन केयर प्रोडक्ट पे लेकिन हमें पता नहीं है सही करेक्ट प्रोडक्ट कौन से है और डॉक्टर तानिया आज हमारे लिए कर रही है सो दैट्स अ ग्रेट इनिशिएटिव मैडम ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट काफी है इंडिया में तो आपको लगता है कुछ ना कुछ ये प्रोडक्ट जो नया है असर कर पाएगा और लोग क्यों इसको यूज करें जी हाँ ये प्रोडक्ट डेफिनेटली असर कर पाएगा क्योंकि इन्होंने बहुत इन्वेस्ट किया है रिसर्च में और आयुर्वेदिक फॉर्मुलेशंस को इन्होंने रिसर्च किया है और एक नया एक नए नई बिल्कुल ही नई नई लाइन बनाई है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि ये फेस वॉश की जगह ये यूज़ करें ये क्रीम की जगह ये लाइन ही बिल्कुल नहीं है एक 
अलग नज़रिया है स्किन केयर को देखने का तो जैसे जैसे लोगों को इसके बारे में नॉलेज होगी वो डेफिनेटली इसे यूज़ करना पसंद करेंगे आजकल कहीं ना कहीं सोशल मीडिया का दौर है हर किसी को खूबसूरत दिखना है हर किसी को अच्छा दिखना है केवल महिलाएं नहीं पुरुषों में भी ये जो जिज्ञासा बढ़ रही है इसके ऊपर आपकी क्या प्रति जी हाँ आजकल हर किसी को अच्छा दिखना है और सिर्फ अच्छा ही नहीं दिखना है लेकिन उन्हें सब चाहिए जल्दी तो हमारे जो भी कंसर्नस हो वो जल्दी ठीक हो जाए हमारे तो ऐसे इन कॉम्पिटिशन में अभी ऐसे ऐसे जो प्रोडक्ट्स डॉक्टर तानिया लेके आ रहे उसमें इस इन ऐसे सारे जगहों पे बहुत ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंस बढ़ जाती है जो प्रोडक्ट्स असर ही ना करें बल्कि फास्ट असर करें बॉलीवुड के लिए क्या कहना चाहेंगे कि बॉलीवुड लोग हैं हाँ बॉलीवुड में इनफैक्ट हम एक नया ट्रेंड देख रहे हैं कि मिनिमम मेकअप नो मेकअप लुक का बहुत ज़्यादा ये हो रहा है चलन बढ़ रहा है ये बहुत ही अच्छी बात है और इसका मतलब है कि स्किन केयर ब्रांड्स को एक्चुअली इससे ज़्यादा फायदा होगा यस ऑफ कोर्स हमने देखा कि आज दो बड़े मिनिस्टर्स आए हुए थे डॉक्टर तानिया की स्किन केयर को प्रमोट करने के लिए ये अपने आप में एक बहुत ही अच्छा एग्जाम्पल है क्योंकि अब ऐसे हमारे यहाँ भी बहुत सारी लेडीज़ हैं जो ये ऐसे मौक़ों का फ़ायदा उठा सकती है जिन्हें भी एक ऐसे प्लेटफॉर्म की ज़रूरत है जहाँ पर मिनिस्टर लेवल के लोग उन्हें सपोर्ट करें तो आज यही हुआ है और ये बहुत अच्छा एग्जांपल रहा है सारे विमेन के लिए इनफैक्ट सारे मिनिस्टर्स या सारे पावर ब्रोकर्स के लिए भी कि वो ऐसे लेडीज़ को आगे प्रमोट करें आने वाले प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में कुछ बताएंगे आप कौन कौन से प्रोजेक्ट में काम कर रहे यस ऑफ कोर्स डॉक्टर तानिया मुझे लगता है कि बहुत एक अभी एक आर्मी से जुड़ गई है जो उसे सक्सेसफुल देखना चाहते हैं मैं इन्हें इसलिए सक्सेसफुल देखना चाहती हूँ क्योंकि वो एक इंडियन ओरिजिन से है मैं इन्हें इसलिए सक्सेसफुल देखना चाहती हूँ क्योंकि वो एक वुमेन के लिए एक एग्जाम्पल है हमारे लिए एक रोल मॉडल है कैसे एक लेडी सिर्फ स्किन केयर जिसे काफ़ी लोग आज भी बहुत ज़्यादा सीरियसली नहीं लेते वैसे प्रोडक्ट्स को लेकर इंटरनेशनल ग्लोबल बनाती है और अपने लिए एक सपोर्ट जोड़ती है जो आगे लोग आते हैं उन्हें प्रमोट करने के लिए सो दिस अ वेरी गुड एग्जांपल ऑफ वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट एंड अ वेरी गुड एग्जांपल ऑफ वुमेन रीचिंग न्यू हाइट्स फिलहाल तो मैं एक खुद अपने प्रोजेक्ट पर काम कर रही हूँ जिसका नाम है भ्रम ये एक हॉर सब्जेक्ट पर प्रोजेक्ट है ये अंडर प्रोडक्शन है एंड हम हालांकि इसको बनाकर किसी ओटीटी को पिच करेंगे थैंक यू प्रोडक्ट विच यू आर विच यू हैव लॉन्च टुडे या सो माय प्रोडक्ट इज बेस्ड ऑन द फिलॉसफी दैट इज नॉट वन वे टू ट्रीट अ प्रॉब्लम देयर इज मल्टीपल वेज एंड द मल्टीपल वेज इज एविडेंस बेस्ड मेडिसिन and ayurvedic philosophy and that's the foundation on what my brand is built and where we are now there are all, uh, already so much existing product available in india yeah. what made you to launch your product in new in india my products are manufactured developed and the concept is all started in australia so the product that we have is made in australia with australian standards so I know there are enough and more products here in India but our point of difference is what I believe is going to be different to any other brands that you have here the reason being our approach to skin and skin products is problem and solution and that defines me as a person I'm a I'm a fixer I'm a problem solver because I'm a mother so market market se wa like no 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 one knows more than what a mother knows about about their children similarly i treat everything that i see i would like to look for solution so that was a journey when my patients came to see me when they talk about their problems their skin issues it's about looking at how, what is the simple and practical solutions that i can give people to achieve better quality of skin so that was the start of the journey so i looked at what is the evidence based 
ingredients that we can have, number one. And how we can incorporate that evidence-based ingredients and combine the nature's potent ingredients from Ayurveda. Because I am an Indian origin person and I believe and I know in the potent um, ingredients of our land. So I wanted to bring the cosmetic line combined with the natural line so that we are able to get one solution but in different ways to solve a problem. So it is problem-based skincare and we are de delivery-driven skincare. That is what I believe in. Here I'm not looking at what other brands are doing. I'm not here to compete. I'm here to create my own space. So I'm not looking at ye log aise kare, ye log aise kare. For me, this is what I do. This is what I believe in. And I will stick to that. It is fine. Everyone has got their space. I am genuine hand on heart, which I believe, which I use, which I would happily tell my patients to use. That is what I am delivering. So that is a space. Message for young generation, model and Bollywood. There's one strong message that I always believe that I want to share to everyone is that I am scared of us never to go for regret don't regret okay, regret is a very strong word because regret pe aise hote hai i kaash mein aise karti kaash mein aise karti i wish i had done this at this age i wish that because that means you've already passed that you can't run do it so if you uh, if you strongly believe in something if you want to do something in life you do not wait go ahead do it deliver it and don't be afraid of failing. Failing to hame hamesha hota. It doesn't matter. But failing is how you take it is diff different. It's your mindset that is important. If you have the winning mindset, even a failure, even a problem, you are, you take it as a learning experience, not as a failure. So my key message is don't regret and have a winning mindset. That's all really. Madam, you look very... It's an evidence-based skincare incorporating Ayurvedic practice. Tell us the range of products that you are coming up with for women. It is actually unisex. It's not just women. Because looking good and feeling good is not only women. It's not only women. It's not only women. How cost friendly it is. How? Cost friendly it is. Cost friendly? Cost friendly, it is manufactured in Australia, so it is at a price point where affordability will be achieved and we are working towards this. This is a pre-launch when it's going to be hit the market, hopefully mid this year. We will take into consideration to make sure that sabko ye hamara jo mehnat hai, hum jo kaam kar rahe, that everyone is also able to enjoy that. Madam, you are looking very beautiful. Thank Could you, you. Tell me about your secret of beauty. Are you a born beautiful <laughs> or it is a magic of your product? Okay, everyone is born beautiful. There is no one in this world. We all have children. You look at your baby. What do you feel? It is the most beautiful thing on earth, right? And look at the mirror. Do you, anyone of us think that, oh, kya dekh rahe? Aise kuch nahi hai. Beauty is a mindset again. You have, you feel good inside, that comes out. You feel positive inside, that comes out. Then you can always add a better version of yourself by the things you do. If someone comes and asks me, I want to look like somebody else, that's not possible. You be the best version of you. You do not need to look like somebody to be beautiful. Everyone has got beauty. It is about bringing the best version of yourself being you being real and that's what I believe. See, I never set out from India thinking that then I'm going to be an entrepreneur, I'm a businesswoman. I said Kuch Neta. It was like any medical doctor I wanted to start my journey do my medical practice, do um, 
post-graduation degree in medical uh, field, that was it. So my life turned in a different direction and opportunities came and I took the opportunities. Like what I said, I'm scared of the word regret. When opportunity comes, you have two, two choice. You take it or you knock it. I always take it. Baad mein sochte Maybe impulsive, doesn't matter. I take it. So that opportunity led to this where we are having my own brand. And I was able to be on television shopping network in Australia and my products were sold out within half an hour of a one hour show. Then I realized that people are receiving this really well. People are interested in my products and people are interested in hearing about our culture. Like I talk about our Indian culture, our Ayurvedic practice and how everything works together in harmony with the heart, mind and soul. So, and that all contributes to the inner beauty and that comes out. So, you know, no one will actually, okay, koi cream, chere pe dalo, you look beautiful, aise nahi hai. It is about discipline, it's about practice, it's about rituals and consistency. That is going to make the difference. Not ek, ke, ek din mein cream dalo, next din you're looking beautiful. No fake promises. It is about being disciplined. So, I wanted to bring back that element that I believe in and I wanted to communicate to people in here what I believe, talk about my story, my journey and I want everyone to believe in their dreams. Today we saw uh, three big wings from the industry. We saw Cameron Ring from Australia, then we saw Buddhism from India and uh, Silent from Bollywood. What was like, you know, this uh, thing like what kind of support uh, you thought they were getting? Look should be in the center place. Oh yeah, sure. See, greatly said, three different industries. This is a, it's a golden example of when people from different parts of the world come together, you, you experience magic. To me, what I experienced today was absolute magic. So, my homeland, I want to start from my motherland, India. His esteemed presence, ministers present here, it reinstates the confidence that I Bharatiya Nariu and I've come back to my homeland that gives me confidence that this is the right place and my soul belongs here and giving that encouragement and Narendra Modi ji has actually given this platform and encourages business back to the country is amazing it's a great example that his presence and his blessings been here my minister from Queensland where is my new home his presence here is is a strong evidence of in Australia, Queensland believes in multicultural Australian ventures. So like myself, I'm a woman in business, I'm a multicultural leader. So his presence here confirms that Queensland, Australia is a place that encourages multiculturalism and encourages business like me. So I'm very happy. And Sayali is from the cosmetic and beauty industry. So it is kind of getting the three industries together, coming in harmony. And this is magic. What I've experienced here is magic. This is God's blessings. What do you expect from Indian market? What do I expect? Just PR. I expect PR accept me the way I am. And that's really all what I expect. And after they know about me, after they know about my journey, much pe barosa hai. So try it. That is it. Product distribution strategy, where would this product available? We are here in Mumbai and this is where it's all going to begin. Sometimes, you know, that is all you need. Um, in life, you need a chick dose. Kona is very, very important. And I consider, I'm really lucky to consider such an esteemed person, honor, honored person here, as that I can call as my really good friend and he was supposed to be our guest of honor he's he's shooting a movie at the moment from Kerala and he's actually tried his best to be here in time but I'm very happy that you've come thank you so much Russell thank you what an honor wishing you I'm all so the best for TD yeah DT <laughs> see you have seen my journey you've seen you've met a few years ago before COVID and you've um, he's someone who has watched uh, my journey 
Um, so having Russell um, over here to support me means a world to me. All the best. Thank you so much. I don't know if you know her uh, lineage, you know. They don't. They don't. <laughs> she she comes from a very literal family, uh, literary family, I would say. Her grandfather wrote the first Malayalam novel. So she is daughter, granddaughter of Ho Chandmanon, who wrote Indulekha, which is the first novel. Malayalam novel, which is a novel in, in, in Kerala. So she comes from a very illustrious background. You know? She studied in Kerala, became a doctor, moved to Australia. And um, uh, she is one of the 300 people the government of Kerala has invited to be part of uh, Loga Kerala Sabha, you know, which basically uh, assemble once in a year under the leadership of the chief minister and the, and the speaker and all the MLAs and MPs of the uh, Kerala Assembly and uh, Lok Sabha comes together, we give our, you know, our impressions and ideas about how Kerala should be functioning. Uh, it's a three day long um, process and they make policies uh, based on those discussions that are coming up. So I met Tanya for the first time in the first Kerala Lok Sabha meeting and I'm also one of the part of the member of the Lok Sabha of Kerala. So I met her there and came to know of her. From there, that was before COVID, right? That yes, was before COVID. 2019. Right. Yes. And ever since we've been in touch, we know what's happening. And she's been an excellent, uh, more than being a medical doctor, she's also into uh, <laughs> uh, personal care. And now she's coming out with her own product. Uh, a doctor coming out with her own product, obviously, is uh, you know the believability and. Uh, the sanctity of the product uh, will be far more. I'm also looking at as, you know, uh, kind of a trade relationship with Australia and India and Australia. India is globally moving very fast and uh, there are a lot of countries that want to be partnered with India. India is looked at as the new you know, emerging, of course, the fastest growing economy. Wasn't that emerging uh, pool of talent uh, world is recognized now. So, she, though she lives outside India, she is part and parcel of uh, every sand of India. So, I wish you all the best. Belongs here. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's my association, and that's what that's why I'm here. I've been shooting my film, I just wrapped up yesterday. And um, so, we, I got in late because the yeah. first flight out was like Landon. And I, at the moment. You know, I'm really uh, feeling very blessed and privileged that you you could make it in the midst of this um, really busy schedule. So that's. Uh, so uh, Indian uh, films, Indian films, Nathu Nathu has joined your uh, uh, company as a part. <laughs> what is my company? No, no. Because you were you also <laughs> the winner of Oscar, and now we India got two Oscar this year. What do you say, say about that? It's as every Indian, I am elated. I am proud of the uh, the mark that we have created. Uh, me and Rahman won it 14 years ago. Uh, now we have won it with our own production. Uh, that's great. It's amazing, amazing feat. Uh, Tripura could do it, you know. Take the fascination of the West. Uh, amazing. And uh, you know what is? Of course, when we celebrate Tripura and its uh, and its success, global success. We also come from a great uh, documented tradition. You know? India has a long documented tradition. There are master filmmakers from India. In, but we, we are not, you know, like in the West, we are not very uh, savvy. We are not very used to watching documentaries. But Indian documentary has made its first mark. You know? I think this is the second or third documentary that's been nominated and won. So that's an amazing feat. You know, winning, I mean, getting nominated itself is like a huge recognition. Winning is a is a bonus. Um, we could make it. And I feel this win especially is going to be a very influential uh, you know, mark for the coming generation of filmmakers from India, especially the younger, younger, younger lot. Yes. What kind of support would you like to give her as a product? 
It's a beauty product. I don't. I don't think it belongs to no, but it's it's men at large. It's but it's it is mainly. It, it is unisex. Mainly, this product is one thing, but most importantly, it's the it's a journey of uh, believing in um, a woman led entrepreneurship, women led business, and we all need family and friends to support each other. We can bring out the best products in the world. but if you don't have the right support um and have a team of family and friends to be there to fall back on whatever you do you would the success is not going to be as sweet as when you are surrounded with good people with positive energy and that's the kind of support that i'm experiencing but we have a huge lineup of uh, women entrepreneurs you know especially Place like India, you know, we have we have had uh, women prime ministers, chief ministers, you know, everywhere, and uh, entrepreneurs, especially in the same sector that Tanya is trying to break into. We have a huge, uh, you know, entrepreneur coming from India. So it, India always uh, been very positive and supportive of women entrepreneurs, and uh, that's what I expect. We continue to celebrate our women. And that's very very important when uh, women are able to uh, come out with their ideas and their ideas becomes reality and if har ghar mein um jo ladki when little girls grow up with their dreams and they are able to follow their dreams watch and they get the right support the country will be a better place thank you ara bhaiya monday new channel i like it share कीजिए और सब्सक्राइब कीजिए भैया